Now, my idea of an ideal pizza is to pick up the phone and have one delivered, but apparently you can make one. Delia shows us how in half an hour, here on BBC Two. University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, welcome to another revealing excursion into the mind of the modern student. In tonight's first round match, two colleges from the universities of Oxford and Wales. St Hilda's was named after the 7th century abbess of Whitby. It opened its doors in 1893 to a mere seven students and is the only Oxford college now solely for women, although they do graciously allow male lecturers. Alumni include the MP Gillian Shepherd, the newsreader Zainab Badawi and the novelist Barbara Pym. Tonight's team is the youngest competing in the series with an average age of 19. Let's meet them. Hello, my name's Louise Jones. I'm from Cardiff and I'm reading Modern History. Hi, my name's Claire Cottle. I come from Brighton and I too am reading Modern History. And their captain? Hi, I'm Diane Carter from Kent and I'm reading Engineering Materials. Hello, I'm Deirdre Nichanila from the Iron Islands and I'm reading Music. Well now, playing them are a team from Bangor, one of the constituent parts of the University of Wales. It was set up largely by contributions from farmers and quarrymen. It now has over 7,000 students. Alumni include one of Wales' greatest poets, R.S. Thomas. It also has one of the most beautiful locations of any British university, between the beaches of Anglesey and the mountains of Snowdonia. Well, let's find out what tonight's team do when they're not staring at the scenery. Hello, my name's Richard Keating. I'm from London and I'm studying criminology. Hello, my name's Linda Henderson. I'm from London and I'm reading forestry. And their captain? Hello, I'm Ian Jackson from Anglesey and I'm reading linguistics. Hello, I'm Chris Driver, also from Anglesey, reading ecology. I'm sure everyone knows the rules. They haven't changed in 35 years, so I'll just remind both teams to be wary of interrupting a starter question incorrectly because doing so will incur a five-point fine. Best of luck to both teams. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Which extreme socialist group was founded by Karl Liebknecht in Germany towards the end of World War I, taking its name from the Thracian gladiator who led a slaves' rebellion in 73 BC? St Hilda's Cottle. The Spartacans. The Sparta Sisters. That's right, yeah. Right, well done. You get the bonuses then, St Hilda's. Uh, which organisation for retired people was founded in Toulouse in France in 1972, introduced into Britain by Peter Laslett, Michael Young and Eric Midwinter in 1983, provides informal lectures and lessons on a range of subjects for its members? Help the aged? No, it's the University of the Third Age. In Hindu and Buddhist iconography, where is the third eye or eye of eyesight situated? Insight, sorry. In the mind. No, it's in the middle of the forehead, but I mean, that's not precise enough to say it's in the mind. Hitler founded Germany's Third Reich in January 1933, but which year saw the instigation of the Second Reich? Nineteen forty eight? Nineteen twenty eight. No, it was eighteen seventy one after unification, <laughs> lasted until the First World War. Another starter question now for a possible ten points. Which device alters the amount of resistance in an electrical circuit, thus regulating the flow of current? Bango Jackson. A rheostat. A rheostat is correct. Well done. <laughs> Here are your bonuses then, Bango. There are three questions on music used as a deterrent. Uh, which English composer's incidental music to Hassan was played over the loudspeakers by operators of the Tyneside Metro system to keep vandals away from one of their stations? Harrison Birtwistle? No, it was Frederick Delius, much earlier. <laughs> which Welsh singer's version of Big Spender was allegedly used to drive birds from the runway at Liverpool <laughs> Airport after more conventional methods had failed? Shirley Bassey. That's correct. In Tim Burton's 1996 film, Mars Attacks, which 50s country singer yodelling version of Indian Love Call was used to wipe out the Martians? Cowboy, the singer, the yodelling cowboy. Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. No, it was Slim Whitman. Oh. Another starter question for a possible ten. In prison slang, what highly valued commodity is known as snout? 
Bango Jackson. Tobacco. Tobacco is correct. You get the bonuses. <laughs> For five points, if you can tell me this. Who, after playing Arkadina in Chekhov's The Seagull and Desiree Armfelt in A Little Night Music, had her third role playing an actress at the National Theatre when she starred as Esme in David Hare's Amy's View? Red, green, something. Sinead Cusack. No, it was Dame Judi Dench. It was a role apparently based on Diana Rigg. What was the surname of Meg, Joe, Beth and Amy in Louisa M. Alcott's Little Women? Um, come on. <laughs> uh, Weston? No, it was March. The song Once in Love with Amy features in the musical Where's Charlie based on which 19th century farce by Brandon Thomas? Charlie's Aunt. Charlie's Aunt is right. It takes you to 30 against St Hilda's 10. Here's another starter question. In December 1997, who edged Tim Henman into second place to become the first... St Hilda's Carter. Greg Rosetsky. Greg Rosetsky is right. The first uh, tennis player, male tennis player, to become sports personality of the year. Here are your bonuses. Three questions on North American religious movements. What is the popular term for the members of the Nation of Islam established in Detroit in the 1930s by Wallace D. Fard or Farood? Muslims? No, no, they're black Muslims. Uh, the old order of which sect, now settled mainly in the eastern United States, separate themselves from the society around them with, by their 17th century dress and refusal to use electricity or motor transport? Quakers. No, they're the Amish. Uh, which religious group were known as New Baptist in Germany but largely relocated to Pennsylvania in 1719, along with the Quakers and the Mennonites? They're considered to be one of the three peace churches because of their policy of conscientious objection. Methodists. Uh, Methodists. No, no, they're the brethren. Another starter question for a possible ten points. Which English painter and engraver from about 1730 popularised the use of a sequence of anecdotal pictures to point out a moral or to satirise social abuses? His works include A Rake's Progress... Bangor Keating. Hogarth. William Hogarth is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Bangor, are on clothing. Worn between the 12th and 16th centuries, a gorget was a cloth giving protection to which part of the body, later forms being made of metal for military purpose? The neck. The neck or throat is correct. Secondly, for five points, which folded and draped neckline on women's garments shares its name with a hood attached to a monk's robe? A cowl. A cowl is correct. First becoming popular during the 19th century, what term is used for a man's high, stiff, upright collar of which the upper corners are turned down? Come on, don't just grimace. <laughs> throat cutter. <laughs> a throat cutter. No, it's a wing collar. <laughs> wing. Still see him around occasionally. Right, we're going to take a picture around now about a third of the way through the contest. For your picture starter, you're simply going to see a 19th century painting. I'd like you to name the artist. Here it is. St Hilda's Nikonere. Money. It is Claude Money. Well done. <laughs> Impression Sunrise of 1873. For your bonuses, you're going to see three details taken from works painted in the 19th century by French artists, each of them associated with the Impressionist schools. From the detail you see, can you please identify the artist? Here's the first. Renoir. No, it's Edouard Manet. We'll see the whole yeah. painting now. Yeah. The Bar of the Folie Bergère. Here's the second. Identify the artist, please. Degas. It is Edgar Degas. Here's the complete work. The dance class, 1873-76. Here's the third. Renoir. It is Renoir. Well done. Here's the whole picture. The umbrellas. Let's put you back on terms, St Hilda's. Here's another starter question for ten points. Get this, your level pegging. Rifle shooting and cross-country skiing together form the Olympic biathlon event. But which sport is twinned with cross-country skiing in the Nordic combination? Bangor driver. Is it cycling? No, anyone want to buzz from St Hilda's? St Hilda's Jones. Skating. No, it's ski jumping. 
We'll take another starter question. The taal, meaning the language, is a term for which language derived from Dutch that has been an official language of South Africa? Ah. Banga Henderson. Afrikaans. Afrikaans is right, an official language since 1925. <laughs> Your bonuses, Banga, are on London streets. Renamed Milton Street in the 1800s, which London thoroughfare became known as a place where writers of little talent eked out a living and is referred to in the title of an 1891 novel by George Gissing? Grub Street. It is Grub Street, yes, through your captain, please, but that's right. Uh, an old slang expression meaning to have no money refers to which London street off Chancery Lane which contained the bankruptcy court? Skint? <laughs> no, it's Carey Street. The expression was to be in Carey Street. Uh, finally, for five points, which street in the financial centre of London takes its name from Italian merchants who settled there as moneylenders in the 12th century? Lombard Street. Lombard Street. Lombard Street is right. <laughs> 40 against 70. Here's another starter question. Which French politician gave his name to an outline image in a solid colour, giving the appearance of a... Banga Driver. Daguerre? No, you lose five points. St Hilda's and Silhouette. It was. It was Etienne de Silhouette. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. Get these, you'll be level pegging. Uh, started in 1914, which Austrian composer's first opera, Wozzeck, was completed in 1921 and first performed in Berlin in 1925? Robert Strauss? Richard Strauss. Richard Strauss. No, it wasn't. It was Alban Berg. Uh, the American biochemist Paul Berg was a joint recipient of the 1980 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his development of techniques for the joining of two pieces of DNA from two different species. What term is used for DNA formed in this way? No idea. It's recombinant DNA. And thirdly, the itinerant preacher David Berg, who founded the controversial movement now known as the Family of Love in, of Love in California in 1968, became known by what biblical name when he withdrew from everyday life in the 1970s? Moses. Any idea? Simeon. No, it was Moses, the sect was known as the children of God <laughs> earlier. Another starter question, 50 against 65. Ten points if you can get this. The story of Beatrice and Benedict, which Shakespeare employed in Much Ado about... St Hilda's Cottle. No, sorry. You lose five points. Uh, ...was also used by which English playwright in Things We Do For Love, which premiered in March 1998? You all look blank, Banger. I'll tell you, it was Alan Akebourne. Another starter question. What word can mean part of an anchor, a parasitic worm... Banger Jackson. Fluke. Fluke is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Banger, are on middle initials. Which famous sportsman, born in the USA in 1858, had the second Christian name Lawrence, the initial letter of which he always used in conjunction with his first name? Don't know. It was John L. Sullivan, the heavyweight boxing champion. Born in 1893, which British novelist and occasional playwright had the second Christian name Lee, the initial letter of which she always used in conjunction with her first name? Dorothy L. Sayers. Oh, Dorothy L. Sayers is right. Which American film producer and director, born in 1909 and perhaps most famous for the 1963 epic Cleopatra, always used his middle name, initial L, which stood for Leo? Zanuck? No, uh, no, you're thinking of Darrell F. Zan yeah. Zanuck, I think. No, it was Joseph L. Mankiewicz. We'll take another starter question. What is the name of the rural pressure group which organised a mass protest against government policies in March 1998? Bango Driver. Countryside Alliance. The Countryside Alliance is correct. You get the bonuses. <laughs> Your first bonus, possible five points. Born in Vienna in 1882, moving to London in 1926. Which psychoanalyst is best known for her work with young children? where observations of their free play provided insights into a child's unconscious fantasy life. No idea. No idea. Mm. Oh, Adler? 
No, it was Melanie Klein. Mm. For five points, the French painter Yves Klein, a leading figure in post-war European avant-garde art, was famous for his monochrome canvases, usually in a distinctive shade of which colour, which he dubbed International Klein? Mm. Grey? No, it was blue. In topological space, a Mobius band has just one surface and one edge, whereas a sphere has no edges but two surfaces. Uh, what are the analogous properties of the so-called Klein bottle? It has one, surf one surface and no edges. That is correct, yes. Well done. <laughs> We're only halfway through, plenty of time, St Hilda's. And at the halfway point, we're now going to take a music round. For your music starter, you'll be pleased to know. Uh, it's an excerpt from a popular song. For ten points, I'd like not the name of the artist, but the producers of the track. Here it is. You don't remember me. Banger Henderson. Stock Aiken and Waterman. Absolutely right. Do you have to know what the song was? <laughs> Yes, it was. It's a distinctive sound. It was Kylie Minogue, Tears on My <laughs> Pillow. For your bonus questions, you're going to get uh, other questions about uh, music producers. Five points each. Name the producer of the following tracks. Here's the first. You think you've lost your love. Well, George Martin. Yeah. That's right, it was George Martin, producer of the Beatles hit She Loves You. Here's the second. When I was a little girl Uh, Mike Turner. <laughs> no, that, he was one of the performers, along with Tina Turner, at River Deep Mountain High. It was Phil Spector. Uh, here's the third. Jesse B. No, it was Nellie Hooper. It was Bjork's big-time sensuality. We'll take another starter question now. According to a poll in October 1997, the nation's favourite love poem is How Do I Love... Banger Jackson. How do I love thee? Let no, me if you buzz in, you must answer with the correct answer. You're going to lose five points. Let me count the ways. By which poet? From Hilda's Jones. Den. Who? John Den. John Dunn. No, it wasn't, Ed. It was Elizabeth Barrett Browning. You're only out by about 250 years. Um, <laughs> we'll take another starter question now. Uh, what term was coined in the 19th century by the psychologist William James to describe the flow of thoughts in a waking mind and is now used in ah. fiction? Bango Jackson. Stream of consciousness. Well done. <laughs> Here are your bonuses, Banger. In Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, what is the name of the swift, tireless horse tamed and ridden by Gandalf? Shadow facts. Correct. Uh, to what is Macbeth referring when he says, hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery? Hence. Ghost of Banquo. Correct. Which Canadian performer worked with veteran producer Owen Bradley on the 1998 album Shadowland? K.D. Lung. Absolutely right. Well done. Right, another starter question. In February 1998, Donna Simmons, a lawyer from Barbados, was the first woman to commentate on which radio cricket programme? Banger Driver. Test match special. That's right. <laughs> Hard put to name any other, really. Yeah. Right, here are your bonuses. Which of the following wasn't a poet laureate? Ben Johnson, Alexander Pope, Alfred Austin and Nicholas Rowe. Nicholas Rowe. No, it was Alexander Pope. Which of the following wasn't a president of the Royal Academy? Edwin Lutyens, John Millet, Charles Eastlake, William Frith. No idea. Obvious one. Millet. No, it's William Frith. Which of the following hasn't been a president of the Royal Society? Hans Sloan, Humphrey Davy, William Herschel, and Samuel Pepys. Samuel Pepys. No, it was William Herschel. Oh. Clean sweep of ignorance there. We'll have another starter question. <laughs> Ten points if you can get this. The painkiller known as acetaminophen in the United States is known by what name in Britain? 
St Hilda's Jones. Paracetamol. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Plenty of time to come back. Here are your bonuses. They're on Ireland. Ireland is divided into four ancient provinces. In which province is the county of Dublin? Leinster. That's correct. Of the nine counties in the ancient province of Ulster, three are now in the Irish Republic. Name any one of the three. Donegal. Correct. The western province of Connaught comprises five Irish counties. Leitrim, Sligo and Mayo are three. Name one of the other two. Galway. And the other one's Roscommon. Well done. <laughs> Here are your, uh, now I'll start a question. Who in 1792 was the author of the play L'Autre Tartuffe ou la Mer Coupable? The St Hilda's Cottle. Molière. No, you lose five points. The third in a trilogy with Le Barbier de Seville and Le Mariage de Figaro. Le Marché. Uh, yes, the convention is you buzz, but I'll accept that. You weren't <laughs> conferring. Do try to remember to do it next time. Here are your bonuses then, Banger. Uh, the violinist and conductor Anton Schindler, who was born in Moravia in 1794, is best remembered as the close friend and biographer of which composer? Uh, Handel. No, it was uh, Beethoven. Which Austrian composer married the musician Alma Schindler in 1902, by whom he had two daughters? No idea, Austrian. Uh, Mahler. It was Mahler, yes. Which composer of film music won his fourth Oscar for the score of Schindler's List? John yeah, John Williams. It was John Williams. <laughs> 65 against 160. We're now going to take another picture round. You're going to see a diagram depicting a computer keyboard from which we've blanked out all the letters, numbers and symbols. For ten points, tell me the letter of the key you see highlighted. St Hilda's Nicondole. A. A is correct. Well done. <laughs> so we stay with uh, the computer keyboard. You're now going to see three more highlighted keys. I want to know which letter belongs to each key. Five points for each one you get right. Which letter is key number one? G. 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 G? Yes. That's, what that's right. Uh, which is number two? U, I think. U. No, it's I. Which is number three? Z. X. X. It is X. Yes, good. <laughs> right, a starter question. The 1917 17 film, Lucky Dog, marked the first fortuitous appearance in the same film of which comedy duo? Who from 19... <laughs> Banger Henderson. Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy is right. <laughs> Here are your bonuses, Banger. According to one explanation, the name of which country was made up in 1933 by a group of Muslim students at Cambridge University? Bangladesh? No, that was, that was much, much later when Pakistan split. It, this was the invention of Pakistan to represent Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir and Balochistan. Uh, for five points, tell me this. Pakistan shares a border with four countries. Afghanistan, China and India are three. Which country shares its southwest border? Iran. 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 Iran is correct. Urdu, the official language of Pakistan, is only spoken by a relatively small percentage of the population. Which is the most widely spoken language? Punjab. Come on. I'll say English. No, it's Punjabi. You should listen to your oh. colleague. Here's another starter question. Uh, which craggy Scottish headland is the extreme northwest point of the British mainland? Bangor Driver. Cape Roth. Cape Roth is correct. <laughs> your bonus is Bangor. Published in 1834, which novel by Edward Bulwer Lytton centres around the catastrophic eruption of Vesuvius in AD 79? Mm -hmm. Come on. The fall of Pompeii. Uh, no, it's the last days of Pompeii. Along with Pompeii and Herculaneum, which other coastal town was destroyed by the eruption of Vesuvius? Naples. 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 No. No, it was Stabiae. The Pompeii, uh, Pompeii site lies uh, 14 miles to the southeast of which Italian city, established around 600 BC? Naples. That was Naples, yes, well done. There's about three... 
three, three and a half minutes to go. Here's another starter question. According to the title of a song by Ray Davis of the Kinks, what explanation is given for the fact that one week he's in polka dots, the next week he's in... Vanga Henderson. He's a follower of fashion. He's a dedicated follower of fashion, that's correct. <laughs> you get three questions on owls, Vanga. Uh, the owls symbolise which Greek goddess and also the city under her protection? Athena. Athena is right. Athens was the city. Uh, which pioneering woman who died in 1910, aged 90, frequently carried a small pet owl in her pocket? Hmm. Come on. Florence Nightingale. It was Florence Nightingale. Which fictional anti-hero was described by his creator Frank Richards as the fat owl of the remove? <laughs> Billy Bunton. That's right. Two and a half minutes to go, 85 against 215. And we're going to take another starter question. What name is given to a coastal body of shallow water characterised by a connection with the sea which is restricted by islands or an atoll? St Hilda's Nick Lagoon. Lagoon is right, you get the bonuses. <laughs> They're on outports. For five points, tell me this. Which port is situated at the mouth of the Swan River, about 12 miles southwest of Perth? No idea. It's Fremantle. Of which South American capital city is Calao, the port? Rio de Janeiro? No, it's Lima. Which city was founded at the mouth of the Tiber in the 4th century BC to act as the mm. port of Rome? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Pompeii. Come on. Pompeii. No, it was... That's the other, other side of the country altogether. Ostia was what we were looking for. There are less than two minutes to go. Here's another starter question. Uh, established in the UK in the early 1930s, which form of inexpensive accommodation was based on the German Jugendherbergen? St Hilda's Jones. Youth Hostels is. Youth Hostels is right. Here are your bonuses. In a speech on the disappearance of literature, what type of novel did Mark Twain describe as something that everybody wants to have read and nobody wants to read? Newspaper. Come on. Biography. No, it's a classic. Uh, of the five English classic horse races, which is the oldest and the only run, one, one run in the north of England? Ibsen and Derby. No, that's the run at Epsom. It's the St. Ledger. The classical was the first symphony by which Russian composer, winner of the Anton Rubinstein Prize in 1914, who lived abroad from 1918 to 1933, and in 1948 was officially condemned for undemocratic tendencies in his music. Shostakovich. Shostakovich? No, it was Prokofiev. Bad luck. 105 against 215, a minute and a bit to go. Here's a starter question. The Modelaine, which has no band, and the Basque, often worn with the band showing, are the two most common styles of which form of soft cap which originated in ancient times? No, I'll tell you... I'll tell Anger Jackson. Oh. Trilby? No, anyone want to buzz from St Hilda's? <laughs> St Hilda's Jones. Bubble hat. No, it's a berry. We'll take another starter question. Deriving from the Latin for cake, what name is given to the organ in mammals by which the fetus is attached to the wall of the uterus? St Hilda's Carter. Placenta. Placenta is correct. You get the bonuses. <laughs> which lock on space side provides a nesting area for ospreys guarded by the RSPB? <laughs> Come on. Pass. No, it's Loch Garten. The island of St Kilda in the Outer Hebrides contains the world's largest colony of which British bird? Oh, bad luck. At the gong, St Kilda's have 115, Bangor have 215. Well, bad luck, St Kilda's. You were jolly unlucky. You did very well on Ireland, I thought. Very useful to have some from the Aran Islands there. Valley, you never really hit your stride there, but thank you very much for taking part. Bangor, 215. Great score. Look forward to seeing you in the next round. I hope you'll be able to join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from St Hilda's Oxford. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Bangor. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. There are more essential tips with Delia on the way here on BBC Two. And on BBC One now, it's warming up nicely as Leeds United try to knock the Italian giants Roma out of the UEFA Cup.